Well, this morning, our job was to clear everything out from underneath this big lychee tree. Uh, this tree was planted in 1955, and we've actually trimmed it a few times. It's just a huge tree anyway. Uh, about a year ago, uh, the Department of Plant Industry came around and inspected our lychee trees and of course found the lychee leaf curl mite, which is known as the lychee arenose mite. And so that they knew needed to be treated. They made a plan, get it treated as soon as possible. A year later, we are expecting them on Monday. So, got everything. This was a nice, like, ecosystem. The young plants that we had in pots were you know, protected from direct sunlight. And what was really nice was every morning when I went into the kitchen, which is right behind the lychee tree, uh, I got this beautiful view of, you know, like this gorgeous tree with all these plants underneath. Uh, so we got all of the potted plants cleared out. Uh, these actually these were a little one gallon plants that were falling over. We put them in a uh, square, concrete square to keep them standing up. They rooted in and became rather big. So those are staying for the moment anyway. Uh, the papaya tree is staying, that's in the ground. And then I have another one gallon mango here that has rooted in. Uh, so those are some of the things that are staying. Uh, the Monstera delicioso that's right in the background, beautiful plant, uh, and actually that's growing all in that area. We are planning to give that away on Halloween again. You know, it's just sort of a thing, Monstera, Halloween, I don't know, it seems appropriate. Uh, but that might get a little beaten up from falling limbs, but it will still be viable. Uh, so we have a few, few old plants around. Uh, we've got miracle fruit underneath too, and so we're hoping that those plants survive and they've got a lot of area to drop a lot of these branches. Uh, so anyway, next time we see this, it will be very different. So let's go take a look at the lychee hedge also. So here's our lychee hedge. Uh, these trees are probably between 12 and 14 feet tall. There are 20 of them starting here and going all the way down the hill. Every one of them has lychee arenose mite or leaf pearl mite. You can see the leaves are curling. In some cases there's rust uh, underneath. Oh, here we go. But anyway, the only way to get rid of this particular pest is to uh, to treat and in order to treat it they cut back the trees radically and then spray the new growth so uh, These 12 to 14 foot trees are going to become like four foot trees And so our view in this area is going to be radically different in just a few days So the lychee hedge that we just saw is a combination of Mauritius and Brewster varieties of lychee. This is Sweetheart. Uh, now, a year ago, when we first started noticing this mite, it was hard to find really dramatic damage. Now, that's not the case. Uh, from a distance, it looks nice. Nice, you know, light green, dark green. Uh, this looks from like it's, there's not much damage, but if you look closer, it's not all raindrops. We've got blisters on the, these leaves, and that's because this Aranos mite is attacking the underside of the leaf. Uh, and we can come over here, and it looks pretty nasty. Just you know, older leaves get that rust look to the undersides. Uh, we've got some that are completely dead in here. So basically, this situation does not get better without intervention. So, you know, the protocol is cutting everything back and treating the new leaves. We've got one more variety of lychee that I want to show you, so let's go check that out. So this is our last variety of lychee. It's red ohia, single tree, this particular variety has been 
producing reliably for us. Not a ton, but reliably in this warmer weather. Um, unfortunately, it's very affected by the mite too. Uh, there are differences in how uh, dramatic the damage is between the different varieties. Uh, but this, this is looking pretty darn bad. Uh, we've got um, actually some dead leaves up there. It looks possibly worse than the sweetheart uh, tree looked. So anyway, this whole tree is going to be cut back probably to about six feet and then treated. So hopefully the next time we look at this tree, it will be looking like healthy and <laughs> like it has a chance at a normal life.